we were um, in, in, in a place called Cabón, Guatemala. It's over by the Caribbean side of Guatemala. And we were holding a healing conference or crusade outdoor. And all these people came from all over. We must have had like 2,000 people or so out there. And I had taught them about the redemptive blood of Jesus and, and what he did for them so they could be healed. And they lead me down these steps, and right in front of me is a woman sitting in a wheelchair. I don't remember how long she had been there, but it had been years. And she was married, and she was bitter, and she was angry at everybody, her husband, everybody. Mm -hmm. And she was just plain nasty in her response to everybody. But who she was really mad at was God, because everybody told her this was from God. Mm -hmm. And so she thought that God was withholding her healing. She was in a wheelchair, she had some kind of an accident, and from the waist down she was, she was paralyzed. And I got there and I went to go lay my hand on her, and you know, there's mics and everything, and, and all of a sudden this woman screams when? out and she cries out, what? when, God, what? God, when? I mean, as loud as she could, and it stopped everything. And so I got down on my knees and in front of the woman so she could look me in the eye. And I said, number one, this, this is not of God. God. Number two, two this, this is of Satan. Satan. Number, three, number three, don't worry because I know I have authority over him and his wicked works. Number four, by the time this meeting ends, you are going to walk out of here on your own. And I laid my hand on her. And she let out this big scream and went out under the power of the Holy Spirit. Excuse me. When you said that to her, did you have a vision? Did you have a word from God? Or was that just raw faith speaking? It was raw faith, and I know that he will show himself strong. 